Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA Online video where today we're bringing the world of GTA Online into the real world. Mm, sort of, in the form of this, the Insurgent. The Insurgent is one of the biggest and baddest cars in the game, being introduced as part of the heist update in GTA Online. It's one of my favourite vehicles of all time, and the channel has much to owe for the existence of this car. It's my personal runaround most of the time in-game, being dubbed as the Chromobile, as it's commonly known by, and comes in handy for those times where there's an attack helicopter right behind you trying to blow you to smithereens. So for no particular reason, I'm going to be creating a miniature toy version of this iconic vehicle through the use of a 3D printer. The printer I'll be using today will be this cheapo CIC model 3D printer that you can grab for just a couple hundred dollars nowadays, and comes with a heated bed and dual extruders. So the first thing I had to do was get a working 3D model of the insurgent from the game. Now, I managed to find one, but first I had to do a little bit of tweaking to the model to convert it from an in-game model to one that a 3D printer can effectively use. Basically, just converting the geometry from what it was into voxels like what you see in Minecraft. This is personally how I quickly get normally incompatible 3D models, like from a video game, to work on a 3D printer. So next up, I add doors to the model and then get ready to print. I scale it to the size of a normal Hot Wheels car, about 60mm long, point it upwards to the sky and then begin printing. Now the print took an hour and a half and did some less than desirable geometry. For some reason the printer decided to not print off these parts of the body so I kind of had to fix that myself using some filament and a soldering iron. Getting out the soldering iron wasn't my original idea but in hindsight this turned out to be a fantastic idea. Not only did it allow me to weld up the gaps that my 3D printer hunk of junk left out but it also allowed me to burn in some small finishing touches like door handles among other things. So now with the body all fixed up, I had to figure out how to put some wheels on it. My original idea was to borrow the chassis of one of my Hot Wheel sized cars and then just glue it to the bottom. But thanks to the uncalled for decision of using my soldering iron, I came up with the brilliant idea of just welding the suckers straight onto the model. So I elevated the wheels in position using some blue tack and then proceeded to just weld up the differentials on the car. This worked really well and made the Insurgent look a lot like an official toy from Rockstar only kind of worse because it's not perfectly done. So I had the thing pretty much complete, the body was complete, the wheels were on, they were spinning, but there was something missing. Chrome paint, baby. Yeah, this thing can't exactly be the Chromobile Insurgent if it ain't chrome, so I prepped it for spray painting and gave it two coats of chrome paint. I waited a day for it all to dry, and here it is, the Hot Wheels Chromobile. Buy it now, limited edition, while stock last. Adult assembly required, no batteries included. So yeah, here's a Chromobile. It took me about two hours in total to make, and I think the thing turned out great. Although, I don't really know what I should do with it now. Let me know what you guys think I should do with it in the comments below, and hey, if you haven't already done so, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for regular Grand Theft Auto and other game content coming to you very soon. See you around, everyone.